When you look at something, you're looking into the past. See this bowl of petunias. What you're actually seeing is what the petunias looked like a tiny fraction of a second ago. That's because light has a finite speed. Take this star. Its light takes four years to reach Earth. So we can only ever see it as it was four years ago. The further you look out into space, the further back in time you see. And astronomers can use this to explore the history of the universe. Space is full of electromagnetic radiation. Astronomers can detect signals from nearby stars, from other galaxies, from the gaps between galaxies, and from nearly the beginning of time itself. All these signals are from different distances and therefore different times. But they all arrive at once. It's kind of a mess. Luckily, astronomers have ways to separate everything back out. And one way is to look for a special signal hidden in the noise, the 21 centimetre line. This signal is produced by the most common element in the universe, hydrogen. Hydrogen atoms absorb and emit radiation at a specific wavelength of 21 centimetres. And because hydrogen's pretty much everywhere, the 21 centimetre line should be too. But there's more. Because the universe is expanding, electromagnetic waves stretch as they travel across it. The further away from us something is, the more the waves stretch, including the 21 centimetre line. So by looking for that faint signal and working out how much it's been stretched, astronomers can start to put dates to the waves they're detecting. Each of these layers comes from a different moment in the history of the universe, from last Thursday back to almost the beginning of time. The radiation that has travelled the furthest, the oldest visible layer, is the cosmic microwave background. This is the remnants of the first light that was able to travel freely through the universe after the Big Bang. It spent 13.8 billion years getting here, and it's like an opaque wall, beyond which there's nothing to see. Next came the Dark Ages, when hydrogen atoms spread out through space, not really doing much. That is, until the first stars formed, and then the first galaxies. As galaxies grew and merged, they started to affect the hydrogen atoms in the space around them, ionising the atoms and forming bubble-like shapes which appear as dark gaps in the usual 21 centimetre glow. Astronomers are now building new telescopes specifically to detect these faint ionised bubbles from over a billion years ago. They hope that buried within these signals could be answers to some of the universe's great mysteries, like the nature of dark matter. Thanks to the finite speed of light, every time we look up, we see the history of the universe in the blink of an eye. And with the 21 centimetre line, scientists are starting to find the secrets hidden within.